Are you on the brink of paying off your mortgage? If so, congratulations. But before you make the final payment and celebrate entirely, there are a few essential steps that you should take to ensure a smooth and successful transition. In this video, I'm going to cover what you need to know to avoid any unpleasant surprises down the line from my personal experience of going through the process of paying off my mortgage, ensuring that you are equipped to make the best decisions for your mortgage free future. Let's go ahead and dive in. But first, what I need for you guys to do is to go ahead and subscribe to the channel and make sure that your all notification bell is on and be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up. By the end of this video, you will feel more confident and empowered to take control of your mortgage journey. Now let's go ahead and get into it. Step one that I need for you to do is to go ahead and download to your hard drive or your external hard drive all your monthly mortgage statements and 1098 forms for your records. Trust me, you want to have your own trail of statements in case you cannot access the lender's website for some odd reason. Plus, in my experience, once the mortgage was paid off, the lender cut all of my access to their website to be able to access any account information. It is best that you go ahead and have everything that you need regarding your documentation from the website before you make the final payment. You will definitely want to make sure, triple check, that you have all of this information, guys. Step two is you want to double check, triple check, and check, check, check <laughs> your outstanding balance. Review your mortgage hard copy statement if you still receive those in the mail or your statement online to verify the exact amount that you owe along with the mortgage lender customer service representative. Yes, I still advise that you go ahead and call in too to verify the amount. Paying the wrong amount could delay the process it could be costly for you, plus create unnecessary complications and frustrations, guys. You could never verify too much how much the mortgage balance is. I'm going to talk a little bit more about this in step four. Step three, which I did when paying off my mortgage or before I paid off my mortgage, was I contacted the mortgage lender via the phone and informed them of my intention to make the final payment. What they will do or what they should do is they can provide you with the necessary instructions of how they can accept the final payment. So some banks, you can do it in person. Some say it has to be over the phone, online, certified check, wire transfers, etc. You want to make sure that you know specifically what you are supposed to do and what they require. Also, any additional paperwork or fees required such as payoff fees, mine was $19 with my particular bank, verify that you have the funds to pay off your mortgage in full in your account along with any transfer wire fees, certified check fees, and the payoff fee to the bank. Step four before paying off your mortgage should be we're continuing from step one, okay? So we're backtracking just a little bit. Request a payoff statement through the website or email, or if you must, snail mail, okay? Obtain a payoff statement from your lender, which includes the precise amount needed to fully pay your mortgage off. This document will ensure that you have accuracy and helps you to avoid overpaying or leaving an outstanding debt behind. You want this information so that you are not making multiple phone calls to the lender. As we all know, those wait times can be very lengthy, okay? Write all of your questions down for the lender to ask them about the final payment beforehand to make it a one and done phone call if possible. Now, trust me on this. I had to make multiple phone calls because there were things that came up that I needed to ask after the fact. So I want you guys to be well equipped and to do better than what I did regarding the things that you need to do in order to pay off the mortgage and the steps that you need to take beforehand. Step five is arrange for a wire transfer or a certified check. Budget for those expenses as they can range in price. Wire transfers for my bank was $14 while the certified check was $5. Once you have the payoff statement, arrange for a reliable and a secure form of payment such as a wire transfer or the certified check. This will guarantee that your payment is received promptly and credited to your account. So you want to also make sure 
that you have all the required information that should be in the note line or the comment box that is listed to the lender as they state so if they tell you to put the account number the amount the mortgage payoff your address a specific way that they want you to write your name put all of that information in the comment box or the inbox you don't want to leave anything to chance regarding paying off this mortgage so do exactly as they have stated or what is written down that you have seen for you to do in order to pay off your mortgage Step six is you want to get the confirmation of the payment and the satisfaction, okay? So after making the final payment, request written confirmation from your lender that the mortgage has been paid off in full. It's important to obtain this documentation for your records and to ensure a clean title transfer. You can contact the lender and ask them when they receive the payment and if it's satisfied the requirements. I always highly advise that you contact them by phone even after you have made that final payment just to make sure that everything has gone smoothly and that there are no hiccups or no bumps in the way remember following these steps will help you navigate the final stages of your work payoff process with confidence paying off your home guys it's a significant milestone and you deserve to celebrate it properly but you don't want any type of snafus or hiccups on the way there okay so this is part one of steps to take before paying off your mortgage guys make sure that you stay tuned in the next few days for part two steps to take after you pay off your mortgage thanks for watching and if you found this video helpful to you guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well as hit the all notification bell and make sure that you definitely give this video a thumbs up so that it can push it out more to those on YouTube and we can reach more people about paying off their mortgage. Until the next video, guys. Bye.